LED signage pixels. These aren't the fancy addressable Christmas lighting pixels. These are just dumb pixels that are designed to be waterproof and if you want to make a sign up, you get a panel and you drill holes in it and then you push these through from the back and you get them in various colours. Here's a string of red, here's a string of green and here is a string of blue. But this string of blue is interesting because I made a video over eight years ago where I mounted these LEDs into a planter and it was a plastic planter with sort of fluted plastic edges and I drilled a hole in each of the fluted sections and just pressed one of these LEDs in from the inside. Then I connected them to a little generic dollar store pound shop type solar uh, power supply that's designed to drive a single LED, but in my case, I ran a string of these from it. And it meant they didn't light very brightly, but at night time, it meant the outline of the planter was just a series of blue dots and it charged up during the day and lit at night. And it was really nice. So eight years later, how have those same LEDs fared? Because these are the very ones that I used. And if I plug them in now, most of them are lighting, but not all of them. And I think there are about five pixels have failed and there's very significant signs of, sort of corrosion inside. But keep in mind these have been out for eight years and uh, they are kind of injection molded into plastic. But I think where they've injection molded them in, where the LED stands out the front, it's a straw hat LED. I think there's been a slight... Uh, mismatch with the thermal coefficient of expansion that means that the it's created a sort of a layer that water is able to get in by capillary action but despite that the majority of them are still lit and uh, there are signs even in the ones that are still lit there is a darkening I don't know if that's ultraviolet degradation of the plastic or if it's actually water that's been creeping in the plastic has degraded it has broken down. It's actually gone quite crumbly, but you'd expect that. It is plastic that's been in the sunlight for eight years. And not just sunlight, but it's been in snow and rain and storms. It's just been weathering the whole lot. So it's actually doing pretty well. Um, I did, however, buy some others. Now, some of these LEDs are part of the previous ones I bought, but other ones are new, new ones. And there seem to be two different approaches to doing this. One of them, like these ones, have a hard plastic surround where the circuit board has been put into a little holder and then it's injection moulded plastic around it and it's very solid. The other ones seem to have a smaller housing and it's a sort of flexible plastic like this uh, that they've put the LED and circuit board in and then they've potted it with resin and you can see that thing at the back where it's all potted in and this is the same construction they use for the RGB sort of colour changing addressable pixels so if I uh, bring in a little notepad here I can show you a couple of uh, ways they achieve this so we'll zoom down on this I shall also focus down on it so there's a couple of differing layouts it's the same style circuit board, one resistor, LED, that's all it is, and it just loops in and out. You get them for 5 volts, and the, the injection molded ones are actually embossed with 5 volts, but you also get a 12 volt version. However, it's worth mentioning that the 12 volt version will be inefficient because ultimately it will just burn up more, it will use a higher value resistor, and it will just burn up more power for the same intensity, so I'd recommend the 5 volt version. But uh, the ones, I, I took apart one of them and it had a 100 ohm resistor on the circuit board. This is the one that was uh, potted in with resin. And the approach this one takes is it has a double sided board with the two negatives on one side and the two positives on the other. And the LED is just soldered across on one side and then the resistor is on the other side. It's a little surface mount with two plated through holes. And I like this approach because it's capable of very high current. You know, the wires are just common together directly. And if you look at the housing, you can actually see that the solder has actually flowed right across. I don't know if that's deliberate or if it's just the way it's worked out, but it provides a very high current throughput without all the current running through the circuit board itself. But um, all it has is the resistor on one side feeding up to one leg of the LED on the other side through the plated through holes. And then just the other one's got a direct link. The other approach is they've taken a couple of different approaches. They've got the positive on one side and then it's looped through on the other side with plated through holes. And then the resistor, that one lead goes straight up to LED, which is also through holes. 
and the uh, surface mount resistor just breaks one of the tracks going up there. Another approach had the resistor horizontally with the connections going diagonally just to actually uh, go via that resistor and vice versa on the other side. I think I prefer this approach. The housing itself in both instances is designed to push fit into a hole. So it's the housing made of a semi-flexible plastic, which probably is part of the factor between that little seal being broken between the plastic and the LED. And it has a rim to stop it going too far, and then it has four wedges around it that as you wiggle it in, it clicks in and it holds in place. And they're pretty good. They're not bad at all. If the hole's the right size, they go in fairly easily. Um, if it's too big, obviously there's a risk that it's going to pop right through or fall out. And if it's too tight, I think it was going to put a lot of stress on the connection between the plastic here and the LED. So it's worth experimenting. Um, Colour-wise and availability. You buy it by the string of the colour you want. Red, yellow, green, blue and white. And the current... I've got a little tester here. If I plug in these ones which are one batch. They come in strings of uh, 50 LEDs. I shall show you a sample listing. I shall link to a sample listing down below. They came from eBay. So when I plug it into the USB power supply, it's holding up about 4.93 volts, 800 milliamps. So that means that these LEDs are being run at about 16 milliamps. I did notice that other strings were running closer to 12 milliamps. And you can join these strings end to end, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because uh, with five volts, the voltage drop across them can get significant quite quickly. So if you wanted 100 pixels, I'd recommend putting the power supply in the middle and fanning out. Any more than that, I'd recommend actually just split it into multiple power supplies. In fact, each string draws between 600 to 800 milliamps. These are drawing 800 again. So... It may be better just dedicating one 5 volt supply to each one. Unless you use one of those big industrially chassis power supplies in the back of your sign. A typical listing. A typical listing is this one which says 50 pieces LED pixel light string module sign lamp exposed waterproof DC 5 volt, 12 volt, 9 millimeter. I do recommend the 5 volt ones because all you're doing is just burning up more power uh, for the same amount of light. Uh, and also increasing the heat of the pixel because that's being dissipated into the pixel. But there's the colours, the yellow, blue, green, red and cold white. And they're available in strings of 50. And I have to say, I'm pretty sure the price has not really changed over time. I think I paid roughly the same price eight years ago for these. And the fact they're still available and available in so many different styles maybe suggests that these are common in China, you know, for people making their own signs or just adding an extra feature and a backlit sign, just those little sharp pixels of light that just pick a, a name out. But they're perfect for solar power because they are fairly low power. Also, if you want to uh, make them last longer, you don't need them so bright. You could use that trick of just including a 1 amp or 3 amp diode in series with each section and that would drop about 0.6 to 1 volt and that would reduce the power dissipation of the LEDs and uh, make them last longer. But I'm definitely impressed. These ones from 8 years ago, the fact they're degraded but still mostly lit has been very impressive. I think I may actually just replace these with uh, some of the new ones now though. Um, and uh, refresh that planter and get the full set of pixels working. But there we go. It's not bad. Uh, classic, generic, single colour, dumb, simple LED sign pixels from China.